Dude, every crew needs a midget. That was so weird. Like, because Dwarf Mumba was in Logan's. I think David, I don't know if David Dobrik had one. Yeah. Did he? Big Nick. Oh, shit, you're right. Dude, they all had a midget, dude. That's fucked up. God damn it. And yeah, and Dunny Duncan had like the little black guy, little Tyrone or whatever. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that, his, that, wasn't, that wasn't his name? What the fuck? <laughs> I thought it was. Yo, <laughs> he said little Tyrone. <laughs> and then he actually believed that was his name? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the Pull Out Podcast. We're back, this time for reals. We're not messing around. I had to go to California to get Steezy. <laughs> I brought him back all the way from California. I had to go fly all the way to Costa Rica on a boat. Nice. So then I took a boat. You fly in a <laughs> boat. You Anyways, boat. I got to Costa Rica. I found Phil feeding up, beating up homeless Costa Ricans. Orphans. Right? Orphans. Yeah. I took them out, and I brought both of them back here. So and this time, we're going to take it for reals. I know we always say this, and I know the comments are going to be like, here they go, dude, and then yeah. they're going to not post. No, but this time it's for reals. If not, we will pay y'all a million dollars if we miss a week of not posting. We will empty up our bank accounts and pay everyone a million dollars. Yeah, like we can empty our bank accounts and do that. <laughs> yeah, we have, we have sure. n- no money. Um, <laughs> that was not an official statement. It's just jokes. Um, yeah, we don't post a podcast. Imagine we a fucking lawsuit. It's like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> we don't post a podcast every week. Oh, dude. Oh, fuck. I'm thinking ahead, man. I'm yeah, thinking man. ahead. <laughs> it's 2024, the 7th, right? Uh, January 7th. And we're going to post every week for a whole year and not miss a week. Can, you, can we do that, Phil? What do you mean, we? Right. I don't know. So, I might be in a fucking yacht in the Pacific with ten girls. So let's just happen. You're let's just pretend you're not in a yacht in the Pacific with ten girls. <laughs> Can we post a podcast a week? Absolutely. I like that. It's good vibes. Hey, we're starting off the vibes good. Steezy, what are your thoughts? Can we do this? Not miss a week for a whole year. Fifty-two podcasts back to back. Damn right we can. All right, dude. There we go. Hey, that's, what, hey, that, hey. that's what I'm talking about. Okay. All right, dude. We're back. Uh, I guess before we start, I'll let you guys say something, whatever's on your mind. Why did you come back? Let's start with that. And, uh, you know, what you've been up to. So well, let's start. do it. That's two questions. So let's start with why did you come back? And then we can expand and it's like the what are you up to? Because I feel we're going to get into a mumble jumbo there. So what yeah. did you come back? Let's start there. So I guess I'll, I'll say why I came back to Texas. Okay. Uh, I got tired of California. I mean, I've always dreamt of Los Angeles since I was 15. But I mean, especially this last year, I was just like looking around every day and just asking the question, like, why am I here? Um, so, yeah, I mean... I mean, also a lot of bad luck, a lot, a lot of bad luck last year, um, lots. Well, what are the, some of the things that happened? What do you mean? <coughs> um, well, the main one was I was supposed to make a uh, a short film, and I got a pretty big budget to do it, and the whole thing ended up becoming a disaster. I mean, I told you, th- I, t- I told you guys this already, right? But we're on a podcast and they haven't heard this. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you don't have to go all the way into it. Just you know, just the surface. Then we'll dive deep in we'll, later. We'll, yeah, we'll probably dive into it on another podcast yeah. or this one. Another episode, like later. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think it'll make sense time. to do it on another. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, short. Just to make a long story short. Um. Yeah. I flew out to Amsterdam. I pitched this this film idea to this company. Got a pretty big budget. Uh, hired crew. Um, hired actors. Put together this whole thing. And, uh, yeah, the whole film ended up becoming a disaster. So last minute I had to shift the project into some type of, like, experimental documentary to salvage the project somehow because we spent all of the money. It was a $32,000 project. Damn. And, you know, after after seeing, like, oh, this film isn't really going to get made, it was kind of like a flip of a switch in my head going like, oh shit, okay, well, I'm $30,000 in debt just like that. Um, So yeah, I mean, that was a six month headache. I finally finished the final cut of the documentary, but that was my last straw. 
I had to basically make back all that money and pay back all the companies because it was a total of three companies that gave us some money. But that was the last straw. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this whole California dream. Fuck this trying to become a filmmaker. I would still want to become a filmmaker. Don't get me wrong. But like, I think I want to do it more in an independent fashion in Texas. So, yeah. Right. And okay. So that's why you came back to Texas. Wait, why Texas though? Because you live here. I live here. Yes. All I right. think people may know that. But, okay. Uh, yeah, no, I'm from Austin. Uh, I want to be back here, closer to friends and family. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I realize I want to die here. What the fuck, <laughs> dude? That's not. A, that's not. That a, was crazy, dude. <laughs> no, that's not. A, <laughs> holy that's shit. Like, no, that's like a normal saying. People say that, right? No. But that just means I want to live a good life and I want to live it all in Texas. You okay. could die here, I guess. Yeah, it just sounds. No, no, wild. no. I will die here. But we well, are we going to die. die. Not I could die. I'm going to die. No, yeah. If you look at the history of humans, no, every you're, single you're human has that, died. Like, for sh- basically, there's not one human that like did not die. It well, sounded like you're gonna force to make sure that when you die, you're gonna die in Austin. Oh, if I know it's coming, I'm gonna make sure I'm in Texas. Yeah. Like if if I'm in New York and I'm like, I don't know, I see signs like I get a heart attack, gotta fly to Texas. Cause I mean, I don't know. You gotta fly to Texas. I like, wanna, I wanna, I want my, I want my story to be wrapped in Texas. Yeah. I want yeah. it to be, you know, sealed up. But we don't get to choose our ending. Damn, that was deep. Yeah. Anyways, Continue. well, unless you're suicidal, you do. So, so yeah, that's. That? What, it sounded like you're like, I'm gonna guarantee I die in Texas. What about so, that? I mean, we something. can't really say stuff like that. <laughs> Honestly, people, dude, people listen. Suicide, if you think about it, is people taking their life into their own hands. Literally. So there's kind of like something like, uh, dude, am I gonna get canceled if I say like something Ooh. to be proud of? Like, am I gonna get canceled for that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Last thing so. you want is for you to be in somebody's suicide letter, going like, "He, he, Dude, that's he gave fan me the mail. confidence." That, You'll never that, forget that. These motherfuckers in that's fan mail. That's his fan mail. Suicide dude, that's, letter. That's dude, Phil it, loves that. No nah, man. If you're suicidal, call the suicide prevention hotline, please. <laughs> and anyway, anyway, Phil's phone number. He he hacked in so he can hear them before they kill themselves. <laughs> and he says, "Do it." He got a job there. He's like, I I don't feel like I want to be here anymore. That's a good film idea. You shouldn't. Yeah, like That's a villain. That's a good film idea. Suicide hunt. Somebody who just grows to hate his job at the suicide hotline um, just, call center. Oh, that's how it starts. And it just starts like telling everybody. That would like, be dope. Because you can't record them. I don't think they're monitored, right? No, they are recorded. Oh, okay. No, no but mind. you could hack it like a but supervisor. But what if you press it, not record this one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as soon as they press the button, do it, motherfucker, do it. Do yeah, it. yeah. And then they turn it off. Yeah, if you have any other problems, call us uh, back. And, uh, that would be cool. And what if one of his coworkers catches him doing it, and he has to kill them? So it starts escalating to the real world. Oh shit! He becomes a yeah, yeah, homicide. Yeah, homicide. It, 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 it goes from suicide to homicide to the arc of the character. I mean, if we're smart, and the we movie can actually is shoot called this. Sue a homicide. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's a joke. That's a joke. It's not real. That did not come from my like brain. Like cocaine or whatever. Like, That's why it's suicide right there, is like cocaine. <laughs> 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 um, people won't get that joke But We're basically refer- Steezy wanted to name a movie Love is like cocaine And me and Phil said That was a horrible name But Steezy said it wasn't <laughs> Now do you still like that I still want to make that film That's a film I still want to make But you're still going to name it Love is like cocaine Jesus I, th- I don't think it's that bad of a name Right Love is like cocaine Horrible By the way Just L-I-L-C. You know. Lilk <laughs> Um so now we know <laughs> why you're back. How come you wanted to hop back on the podcast again? Um, I mean, I didn't. Hmm. No, I was just kidding. Uh, it wasn't. There's truth to every joke. Well, <laughs> let's hope that's not true. Well, there's a little truth to it. It's a joke. Um, no, I was the one who said it. I said it to you on the phone. I know. That's why I don't know why you said you didn't. Okay. Well, no, I just, uh, I don't know. I just, uh, I think it, it feels right. And we're all in the same city. And I mean, we had magic back then, which I don't think I really truly realized. <clears throat> when I did realize recently, it was like a little moment of like, it was like a little reminder. I just saw a comment on someone's post. It was either mine or one of your guys' posts, but it was like uh it was one of the inside jokes. Like somebody said, like, 
oh yeah, I'm gonna make you heavier. Oh yeah. And, and it just made me realize like, damn, we have we we had like cult. Yeah, yeah. We following. had a cult audience from like crazy inside jokes. And the podcast was actually really strong. The following was really strong. And um if we're all in the same city, I mean it just means it just feels right to be able to give this back to them, to the people, you know, to the people who to the people who, I like who that. generously give their time to us. And um, yeah, I don't know. A lot of people saying that we make them feel better. So, yeah, I mean, uh, I used to not believe that. But then I think about it. What's on the Internet that you want to hear and listen to? Not much. Right. Yeah, that's why influencers are or creators are the shit, because like I love listening to uh like comedy podcasts, like Bill Burr, he has one of my fucking favorite podcasts of all time. He's so fucking funny. And he call it, he he has the Thursday afternoon Sunday morning podcast. Like sometimes he does it on Thursday, and that is so hilarious. I didn't know he had a podcast. Yeah, and it's he's been doing it. I remember in twenty it has to be 2015, 2014 when I started listening to him. So I've been listening to him for like eight years almost. Damn, you're old. How old are you? Thirty? Yeah. Fuck. Oh, it was his birthday, by the way, December fourth. Yeah, yeah. Twenty eight. Twenty eight. Twenty eight. But Alejandro's always gonna be older, no matter what. Yeah, I wish I could change that somehow. I mean, you're not really thirty. <laughs> no, I'm twenty eight. He's <laughs> twenty nine, about to be thirty. Yeah. In July. Yeah. That's uh, five months away. By the way, literally. I think I'll definitely would have to like go to Thailand. And just, you know, and just why do you want to go to Thailand? It's very if I'm specific. Turn, if I'm going to turn 30, dude, I just want to like let all the pain go away. Sounds like you're nutting on people. Right. Yeah. No, I said you're right. No. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, we're going to get lost. Uh, so, Steezy, why he's back here, why he want, came back to the podcast. Phil, why are you back here from Costa Rica where you were having the time of your life? Uh, spreading your seed over multiple women over dating apps. Now Jesus. you're back here. <laughs> Go for it. What, what did you say, Jesus? That made yeah, me nervous. Jesus Christ. Because you're being a demon out there. Jesus is watching. How long ago was this? This was so long ago. When yeah, I, I don't have like a clear timeline. No, I mean, I didn't come back from Costa Rica here for anything in particular besides like... Uh, well, there was a reason, I guess. Yeah. Where I was like, oh, I want to put my head down and start working on stuff. And, and How did that go? It's going well. It's good. Now, you said, how did that go? And that just had a little bit of negative connotation. But anyways. Uh, no, I mean, I you can't live in dreamland forever. You have to grow up at some point. Unless you do heroin. Then Correct. you can. Exactly. But besides that, That's a good uh, point. I don't do needles. But... If uh, so, if you don't do needles, you can't do heroin, and the other only option is to pretty much grow up, take control of your life. I think you can. Uh, you can't. Heroin. I tried, <laughs> but the reason for coming back was that it was just like I'm too much in like this fake illusion where, um, uh, dude, so many things. I kind of don't want to get into yeah, specifics. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's I, I don't want to get into specifics. What? What? Um, how come you want to hop back on this podcast? Because you leave, you come in and out. Well, I'm it's like it's a two dollar whore. Yeah, you treat this podcast <laughs> like it's a two dollar whore. You just Jesus. come in and out. Well, I think it helps that you're doing most of the heavy lifting, like a hundred percent of it. Right. So I'm like, oh, dude, I'm okay with going to the yacht party, but I'm not okay with owning the yacht because it's too much maintenance. Yeah. Okay. Horrible. Uh, and uh, now coming back, the things that are different is this is now Alejandro's podcast. Well, it's all of our podcasts. I'm just leading it. Yeah, but... Um, so it's all of y'all's podcasts as well. But I mean, it's your <laughs> podcast. Right, so I'm leading it, yeah. and it's all of our podcasts. But, but now why are you leading it, and why is it yours? I'm leading it because these guys, they're busy doing their own dreams, right? <laughs> they're, very, they're very focused gentlemen, and I respect that. Now, And you are not... Not as focused as y'all are in y'all's current aspirations, right? My lies elsewhere. But what I see <laughs> is I'm like, oh, dude, there's fire here, and I don't want to let it die because I see all the potential. So I'm like, if I just wrangle them up one hour a week, 
something great can come out of it. Yeah. Because it is rare. Like I said, I mean, I looked at podcasts with like, I mean, I don't want to throw shade. Well, I don't want to say names. But anyways, there was this podcast with like million subscribers. Or like, no, like 100,000 subscribers that you were on. Um, it's two boys. Uh, and they're from Conor McGregor. Uh, Conor McGregor? And, uh, from Conor McGregor? Oh. I already said too much. Uh, anyways, there's no shade to them, nothing. But they get around like... I love how you keep getting more specific. <laughs> yeah. You're like... Uh, <laughs> dude, he's like... <laughs> it's not to throw shade, but it's those guys. I'm not going to name them. Anyways, it's like... And one of their names starts with... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They got 2,000 views. Like, they were getting 2,000 views. And I'm like, how are we getting 10,000 or 15,000 or 20,000? And we were just starting. The podcast were like... Uh, so I was like, oh, shit, dude. There was something here. So I was telling Phil, yeah. dude, imagine if we had done pull-out blogs. If a podcast gets 20,000, how much would a blog get of all three of us at that time? Yeah. How would you how much would you say YouTube expert? <laughs> I think it would be a little bit more than a podcast just like cuz they're short. Views? Um, 60k? Maybe. And it would that would maybe start some that that will start like a catapult. Bingo. To where and it starts a spiral. Exactly. So yeah. I want to build that spiral. That's why now I, people would start to find us from the vlogs and then find that a podcast is our main thing. So self feeding yeah. machine. Then. Yeah. Right. So I that was would like, have been a genius move. That would have been a but genius move. But Steezy was, uh, you know, handling some demons that you were handling, right? Yeah. Now we can all see Lots. it clearly. But now we're all clear headed. So I want to make that happen. Now that we're all clear headed. And if we attach brand deals to the blogs and the podcast, then we're all banking. And if we're all banking, then we can travel over the world, shooting podcasts in different cities with that money. And since both of your jobs are remote, you could be working as we do this. So, for example, we can live in London for a month and you're doing your film stuff, writing, you're doing your career stuff. Damn. And I'm playing poker over there because, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? And we're making money. So it's basically, it's a way to travel the world. Yeah. And vlogs. Then we have some cameraman falls around as we do stuff in London. And it's like, oh, shit, dude. These guys figure out a way to live the life they wanted and get paid from it. That would be dope. That would be dope. Get paid from it. It's like, okay, next month we're going to go to Japan. You know? Dude, who went to Tokyo recently? Oh, no Lorenzo. Right. Yeah. Um, we had a friend, just for context, go to Tokyo recently. And he's the second person to mention Tokyo. Yeah. So I was like, fuck. Is this a sign? We got to go to Tokyo. I'm, I'm like waiting for the perfect time to go to Tokyo. because You know, make it. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. That's what everybody says. They just do the exact thing where they jump out of their chair. You like that? <laughs> everybody fucking says that. Um, It'll never be the perfect time. Yeah. No lights are going to be but green. The reason why is because Tokyo is the most different. It's the most alien-like place you can go to on Earth. Yeah. So and there's like also a bunch of Asian, Asian chicks you want to uh, interact with <laughs> Interact with <laughs> No 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 I mean Also you won't what, uh, what are you What is this I don't know Sorry uh, <laughs> No it's just so different It's just so different The technology is crazy The lights are crazy Like the culture is so different Culture Bullet trains Bullets Bullet trains Fuck. You know bullet trains Yeah I know bullet Dude, trains Dude I want I, wanna, <laughs> I don't have you seen you know that? Yeah, I know a bullet train Have you seen them yeah, You can cross the country in, in a bullet train Like that would be Fucking dope to do It takes yeah. like 11 days So what shit. if you fire a bullet Out of a bullet train It doesn't go that fast Honey No it does right <laughs> <laughs> No it does I don't know why it just, said, it just sounded right Dude, that, 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 was, that was good Why is it called a bullet train If it doesn't go as fast as a bullet really It's like twice as fast As a regular train like very fucking so fast. So just call it twice as fast as train. What? Does it go as fast as a bullet? Why Why is the engine in your car called a horsepower when it's not really horses? I mean, they should change it. I agree with you. But uh, anyways, so Tokyo, this year we're going, right? It's like what you're saying? Dun, 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 dun. That was racist. Mm. But yeah, this year we'll go. No, no, it's that Tokyo Drift song. Oh, no, man. Whatever happens, happens. Uh, Dude, I love th that This movie. year I definitely want to travel. I don't want to travel that much. Just because I want to focus on Texas and I want to focus on settling in. So I may do some traveling this summer, but like... I need traveling to get, I is need overrated. To, I need to get my money up. I need to get my money up. Yeah. It's not. It's and not. stuck. It's okay. underrated. No, it's, it's overrated. No, it's underrated. No, no, because I... What do you mean underrated? If it's up, then it's up, then it's up, then it's stuck. Here's right. what I mean by that. You so don't want to get my money stuck <laughs> up. I'm trying to get my money stuck up. Oh. 
That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get my money stuck up and stubborn. Yeah. I'm sure. Oh, yeah, it won't leave. It won't That's leave. A, dude, Wait, what did you say? Put on a t-shirt. Say it again. Uh, I'm trying to make my stubborn. money stuck up and stubborn. That's, that's how, that leave. also sounds good, too. I like the ring of that. I'm trying I to mean, get my money dude, stuck up and stubborn. I mean, dude, what else do you need? Uh, I've heard better. No, you haven't. From me. I don't know, man. That's like, that. that, <laughs> that just that's like, good. That's good. I'm the little, the white little Wayne. Phil Wayne. Phil Wayne. Yeah, this is stupid. Oh, <laughs> uh, what was I gonna say? Phil Wayne. Dude, that's such a like a meta joke. Like, um, anyways, I wanted to bring up something. Um, do you, you guys remember? Book? Do you guys remember what we did at the end of 2020? 2020. At the end of 2020, can you guys guess what we did at the end? That of was 2020? the first year. Like during New Year's, I was in Vegas. During New Year's, I was in Vegas. No, you were not. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, no. It wasn't New Year's, but it was at the end of 2020. I was in Vegas. Well, we all did as a group. We went to the cabin. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. To Yosemite for like five days. Yeah. And I remember when I was fucking around, you guys were getting mad at me because I wasn't taking it seriously. Yeah, that is true. Now, why, why did we Why did we go to a uh, cabin? Because we wanted, it was called the cabin cleanse, and I still have that folder. We we're trying to like purge out the, basically be present, reflect, and meditate. But like, what what initiated it? Uh, you because I don't even money? remember too clearly either. No, I uh, pushed for it because you weren't posting videos. I think it was Alejandro who post pushed for it. I think yeah. No, you didn't. Uh, yes. Uh, oh no, yeah. I think it was Alejandro. It was me. <laughs> I'll take yeah, all maybe the it was your idea or yeah. like some other time. But right. Alejandro was like, "This is the time. We do it right now." Well, I take. I take. And full that credit. was the crazy thing. Is like it was in the middle of the day. We made the decision, or was it the next day? Was it the same day? Whenever it was, right now. I take full credit, and you are <laughs> correct. Whatever the time of day it was. Okay. okay. No, but I mean, the... Where, where, where were you going with this? Well, basically, we had, like, the biggest fight, the biggest argument. I had no fight. And and we Shut were just up, like... Dude, your ego was major and, that time. Major. And uh, no ego. And it was at the end of the year, and we were like, okay, the thing we need to do is take a trip. We need to drive nine hours up to Yosemite, and... Forget about all the work that we need to do and just take five days or four days or however long it was with no phones and just learn how to be with each other again and find our purpose. Oh, oh yeah, it was yeah. to find the purpose. Yeah. Yeah, That's yeah, what it was yeah. for. Yeah. Yeah, because we're at each other. We're like not getting along, not in a bad way, but we're just not like me. everybody had different energies. No, no, it wasn't that we didn't get along. That's not the right way to put it. But we weren't gelling as we should have. Yeah. We weren't what? Jelling. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, what do you mean by that? Jelling. Like when things don't gel well together. Right, so he's just he's going to keep saying that and never say the definition. I mean, dude, I've never had to explain that expression. Anyways. But basically... We almost um, died on the trip. When I moved... Yeah, when I moved... Now you said yeah, but you don't know what I, where I meant. No, wait, in the we almost slid off the road. Let him finish his fucking point. We this almost slid off the fucking yeah. road, dude. Yeah, it was that was snowy, crazy. And we almost lit, and the fucking cl- we would have died. Yeah, we would have fucking died. But I was driving, so I fucking. And then there was a truck coming at the same time, <laughs> so you this. couldn't you couldn't go to the other lane. Yeah, and the uh, the roads were icy. We, we would have couldn't died. see shit <clears> either. Couldn't see shit. We would have fucking died. Yeah. I saved but basically, dude, we didn't even go with chains. When I was moving back to Texas, I found this journal. That's cabin cleanse. Okay. Nice. So, what did you write? I haven't read this for like two years, so I wanted to read what I was writing during that time. All right, let's go. So for there it. might be some crazy shit in here. I don't know what's in here. Sure. But it's like four pages, so All it's right. not that long. Don't omit anything. Just read it straight up. I mean, uh, what do you mean? No, no, yeah, I'll, I'll do. I'll do that. All right, guys. Steezy pulled out a black book. <laughs> Pulling out the black book. Okay, so on page one it says cabin cleanse. Objectives. Number one, find your purpose and urgency, which has a star next to it. So that's the most important one. Number two, become more connected with your friends. Ah. Number three, hmm. remember what life is about and have fun. Okay. So three objectives. So day one. Today we arrived in the hotel slash cabin and it started snowing about 10 minutes before we got there. And the car lost traction and slid right when a truck was passing. Yeah. Uh, We could have died. We start driving slower and we're being cautious. We're now one mile away from the hotel and the car gets stuck in the snow. Phil and Alejandro walk 
to the hotel and help while I stay in the car. I'm playing scary movie soundtracks, but they're actually freaking me out, so I switched it to Cardi's new album. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I remember that. I remember that. Which is trash, by the way. Phil and Alejandro come back with help. They put chains on our tire and dirt under. Um, we manage to drive the car all the way all the way up and we park. We're now in the hotel room and I feel way more peaceful than I thought I would. I mean, I don't have Instagram, Twitter, or Snapchat on my phone. I'm even thinking of turning it off. Turning it off completely. The point of this trip is for me to find my urgency, is for me to find the urgency, the fire within me once again. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? <laughs> I don't know. That sounded, I don't know why that's funny. How is it's it funny? The fire within me. It just sounds so Erotic. poetic, like so. Erotic. <laughs> well, like you're like my loins were on fire. Then I saw Phil <laughs> all cheeked up, and I decided this was my chance. That's basically what you're gonna say next. Nah. Okay. Anyways, yeah. What's the next? The point. The point of this trip is for me to find the urgency, the fire within me once again. I need to pause and remember why I'm doing what I'm doing. Comfortable and hopeful is what the title card says. Day two. Whoa, 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 whoa. let's take a break. Let's take a break. Okay. okay, so did you find your purpose? Nope. So two years later, you're still in the same spot. Well, I feel like I'm finally coming to the end of the road where I'm finding it now. Maybe. But, <clears throat> yeah. I found it. What's yours? Uh, the short answer is purpose is in the pursuit. Okay. I like that. Which means like, uh, God, there's so many ways to unpack it, but it's like, it's a direction. Like happiness is a direction is one of the favorite things that I've heard recently. Okay. It's not, you'll never get there ever. It's not something that like you have. It's basically, uh, uh, I guess I can... Well, yeah, I'm sure my brother won't mind. I mean, he's pretty open about it. What the fuck? What? I mean, he's talking about... Like, my brother does music, and he called me today, and he was like, hey, should I quit music? And uh, we we're kind of going back and forth to kind of figure that out. Well, you got to break down how long your brother has been doing music. Or yeah. Why is this just, an important call? It's just me as a filmmaker. You know, that's what I would do. Set up yeah, the stage. Yeah, yeah. For sure. So, go ahead, buddy. That's so negative, bro. Huh? <laughs> the yeah, way you said that whole thing was Dog, just, just like, It just comes natural to me, but I forget. Yeah, being I'm negative is natural to you. <laughs> All right, go no, for no, it. But he's been doing music for like, I mean, since we were high school kids. So, but he hasn't really taken it seriously. Now, they don't know what that means. How like, old is your brother? He's 30. So that means God like damn. 15 years. 15 years? But he hasn't really taken it seriously, I would say, for at least the last eight years. You oh. know, you kind of pick up a guitar here and there. and I can tell. Shit. You've been doing it for 15 years? Yeah, yeah. You know how those actors say, oh, I've been acting for 20 years? And they're like, oh, you know, you have the talent of a fucking almond. But he's been doing it for a while now, and he's pushing it, but he's like, yeah, I don't know if I should stick with her or whatever. And he was like, I kind of feel like quitting. And the minute he said that, I was like, uh, why? Because he was like, oh, I just feel like I haven't progressed the way I want to. Like, I'm not, I don't think I'll make it compared to like all these other musicians or whatever. And it, I told him you already lost because basically if you're doing it to make it for like this outcome, you were never doing it for the right reasons, which means that could never be your purpose because when you're on your purpose and you're like in the moment and enjoying shit, like you're not thinking that far ahead. It doesn't mean don't be ambitious, but it means like you're okay with whatever the current outcome is. If you tell a painter like Van Gogh died poor, and I'm not famous at all. What a loser. So he, uh, his brother actually sustained most of his career. Like he paid him and he ended up like in a crazy, like, you know. Is that even true? Hospital. How do we know this is true? Because you know how they make oh up stuff? Oh my God, dude. Anyways, anyways. No, but you know what I mean? They Fucking make up stuff to sell the art. How the fuck do I know? That is, whoa, that's, that just made me That's See, So I like this. See how you just threw off my genius and you listened to me and you were like, there is something in there. How I like there Steezy, something dude. In there? I like this new Steezy back to Texas. Dude, you, but the thing is, there's you just brushed me there's off. There's this documentary about uh, how the Mona Lisa, uh, it's something about how the Mona Lisa was duplicated and it's fake. And 
because it explains all the scam that the whole art world is. Oh, yeah. But that just made me think, like, what if that's another thing? People just making up stories to sell the art. No, more. they do. I mean, that's been happening since the beginning of time. So to say that about anything, it's like you can make that argument about anything. So that's not even a point to bring up. I guess it's my point. Sure, like everything's just conspiracy. Keep going, buddy. We're geniuses over here. Yeah. Keep going with your Van Gogh, believable, unbelievable. <laughs> what was I even saying? You were saying how your brother... How your brother's Van Gogh. lost because... <laughs> because... Uh, <laughs> <That's> your, bro- <laughs> your brother already lost because he He's was doing Van it Go. for the outcome <laughs> and not for... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Basically, the I mean, dude, if uh, every single like person that I look up to, whether it's in music or film, they say something along the same lines. Where like the minute you're doing it to get something, you fucked up because it's supposed to be an offering. It's supposed to be selfless. Like you're doing it for the art, and that is self fulfilling in and of itself. What about this, dude? You do it, yeah, not because you want to. It's because you have to. Otherwise, you'll go crazy. Exactly. Does that make sense? Exactly. Like it's like someone has like. Like, dude, I have to make this movie. Why? It doesn't even make sense. There's no money in it. No one's going to watch it. I have to. Yeah, exactly. Otherwise, I'm going to go crazy. That's how you know, oh, dude, this guy really has to make this movie. Yeah. He's not even like that he wants to. He hates the movie. We're like, where is that, dude? I fucking hate it, but I just have to finish it. I think, I, that, I think that that's more true with physical things. It is true with movies or like art, but I see it mostly with runners. Runners who are addicted to it, they need to run. Or else they'll oh, blow their yeah. brains out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Because definitely sometimes when I don't work out, I don't feel good. Yeah. And I imagine running for, like, if you run miles, you do have to run. Yeah. Because you're used to that and your brain needs it. So, I think, it, but it's the same with music. I feel like, dude, if you're really no, a musician. No, it is the same. You have to write songs, otherwise you go crazy. No, yeah, yeah, Dude, Jimi Hendrix has, there's a story. I want to read it word for word. It's very short. Right. So, who is Jimi Hendrix? So you got to learn to explain You don't things. know who Jimi Hendrix no, is? No, I do. Dude, well, saying, you can't be explaining it. You got to look it up. Dude, in podcasts, they don't fucking stop to explain every single piece. If you don't know who Jimi Hendrix is, Google it. He's a black guy who plays the guitar, right? That should be enough Jesus, information. So you reduce him to like... Good job. To that, that's horrible. What if Jimi <laughs> Hendrix was alive? Oh, dude, you know he was the son of a general? Jimi Hendrix? The son of a general in the U.S. Army? Did not. Is you know, the- most... Well, this is what I've heard from like Joe Rogan. But most of like those rockers... There was like a, I, I hate conspiracy. This is true. No more conspiracies. <laughs> uh, supposedly, dude, the hippie movement, because you know how it was peace and take care of the earth? Yeah. That was the original movement. Peace, take care of the earth, no consumerism. So humanity was moving on up to like another greatness, taking care of each other. But that means, now I love the government. I'm not going against you. I'm just saying what people told me government. So if you listen to this, don't kill me. That means people are not going to buy stuff, right? People yeah. are not going to fight. So supposedly what they did was the government created rock, where it's like drugs, fights, and all that, LSD. And if you look at all the famous like people who blew up in the rock world, they're all sons of like army generals and CIA agents. Really? I don't know how true pro- that is. they promoted is. the fuck out of them, dude. I don't know how true that is. It's, it's well, look up who's... who's all right, so... Who do you think is Jimi Hendrix's parents? Just no, from no. what you know already. That's from what I said. Who would you think were But that would be like really weird to just like, hey, So you're hey, saying like their government plans to that to basically insert chaos in society so they can disrupt it. Right. Uh, I mean, there's not a strong case for that besides like just so you're look at saying like some connections. You're saying every single rock star I didn't say during the 70s. Most of them. Most of them. All right, dude. Anyways. Would you be surprised if Jimi Hendrix's parents were generals in the U.S. Army? Would that surprise you? Generals, yeah. Let's look it up. Anyways, I'll tell the story and then we can move on to that. Here, I'll look it up as you tell the story. Jimi's obsession with his guitar garnered him a nickname around Clarksville, Marbles. He was so named because people thought he had lost his marbles, meaning he went crazy. And as a result of his excessive guitar practicing... The guitar had become an extension of his body, and Billy Cox, another musician, observed that Jimmy managed to put 25 years into the guitar in a period of just five. Alfonso Young, which is another musician who knew him, recalled that Jimmy would practice on the way to the gig, play for up to five hours on stage, 
during one of their all-night shows and then continue to practice on the car ride back home. He always had the guitar, Young said. In this singular obsession, Jimmy bore a similarly, similarity to sax great uh, John Coltrane, who frequently practiced during set breaks, which he was also a regular routine for Jimmy. Jimmy was once observed going into a movie theater with his guitar, unable to put the instrument down long enough to watch the film. Wow. So it was like this idea of obsession, which there's Wait, a guy... Wait, so he play the, the guitar in the movie theater? Probably. Like, he was just, like, finger-picking. You don't have to make oh, a lot of noise. Yeah, yeah, like, that's true. you know, you can kind of just mess around with it. Uh, but there's this guy who's called like, Zach Pogrob, I think, on Instagram, uh, who talks about obsession. That's, like, his whole brand. And throughout, like, the top performers, it's that. It's just pure, you know, basically you're pouring yourself into the art. The thing is that there's a cost to everything. So if you do that, like, you're basically sacrificing almost everything else. And you have to be at a time where you're okay with doing that. Or be with people around you who support you while you do that. Because I feel like you do go a little bit on the border of insanity uh, to kind of, uh, you know, achieve that great thing. I mean, Michael Jordan, I think he got divorced and kids suffered and all this other shit. You know, and Will Smith's husband cheated on him, so... Will Smith's husband? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, just not true if you're looking for that long. No, I just, I just can't. I'm looking at the wrong things. Anyways. <laughs> anyways, uh, anyways. And they a bunch of army stuff. It's, like, so it's not true. It's not true. Well, I haven't looked it up. <laughs> anyways, back to the cabin cleanse. Yeah. Um, day two. Today I realized how broke I am. I have about $3,000. Wait. I have about three thousand dollars. He's reading to make sure it's. Hold on, I can't yeah, read my own. to make I sure he still has the three thousand dollars. I can't read my own handwriting. I have about three thousand dollars. I have to pay rent in a couple of days, which is two thousand dollars, and I have to pay fill in all hundred tomorrow. Five hundred seventy dollars each. That's nothing. This motherfucker was fucking having us as slave. Look, he's laughing. He's laughing because he knows that's fucking bullshit, bro. Chump change. Five hundred dollars a month. You guys had a percentage, bro. So it was it was. However Dude, much we were leaving on five hundred dollars a month. I made no, no, that, that was that was no, biweekly. No, no. That was biweekly. Yeah, that that was we're and plus it was a percentage. Basically, we like after <laughs> rent we had a thousand each. Look, he laughs at five hundred dollars. Dude, I mean, he did a reverse racism on us. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah, dude, you reverse racism on us, dude. You, we were your slaves. Straight up. No, man, that was just a bad month. <laughs> <laughs> what was a good month? A thousand? Yeah, not that was a good month. <laughs> no, it was like five thousand a month. No, no, dude. one month was five thousand. Did he? I ever remember. No, I remember. No I remember. Way, I sent. Hold I sent, on, hold I sent on. the Every payment through Gusto, and yeah. I remember hearing all hundred in the other room. Like, holy shit! <laughs> well, we're eating happen? this. No, no, month. no. Yeah, we both were getting paid twelve hundred biweekly because it was twenty five hundred each. I remember that. I don't remember that at all. You don't remember that? I remember it was a thousand a month. We, no, after, no, no. I think after this point we set a minimum, because this this was too low. I yeah, mean, you, yeah. You guys put I, a minimum. I, I, oh, and Steezy wasn't working. We're like, hey, dude, you're not working. Yeah, like in yeah, January, and, yeah, and so we're a, not gonna get paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it was a percentage. <clears throat> so yeah. Oh, I then have, after that we started getting eating. Then we could eat. After <laughs> that. Then after that we got enough for <laughs> food. Like, then we could afford dinner. <laughs> yeah. No. It was. Uh, anyways, you were continue. Um, I'm gonna rewind a little bit just to clear it up. I have three thousand dollars. I have to pay rent in a couple of days, which is two thousand dollars. I have to pay Phil Noah hundred tomorrow, which is five hundred seventy dollars each. I still have options. I have a credit card with one thousand dollars left on it. I have stuff I can sell. <laughs> I can apply for loans, but I probably won't get accepted. But today I realized that I'm fucking done with not having money. I want to pay Phil and Alejandro ten thousand dollars a month. <laughs> I <laughs> that never happened. Uh, <laughs> I want to be riding around in a Tesla. Oh shit! There we go. Uh, I want to buy my mom a house. Okay. This shit is way bigger than me, and if I fuck up, I'm fucking up my family, my friends, my future kids, my city. There are zero fucking reasons for me to be comfortable. Damn. And I need to be sprinting. Aside from that. We went to Yosemite Park today. I got to see El Capitan. Uh, we climbed up the rocks, blah, 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 that were extremely slippery. I thought about death today like 30 times. Like killing yourself? No, because the rocks were slippery. Oh. Like accidental death. 
relax. Right. Dude, I think this guy. Relax. I think this guy was writing your suicide note, dude. He Imagine. was thinking of jumping off Yosemite. Yeah. He just never got to finish it. Or he, maybe, right, maybe. Is this where it's leading to? Um, we got back to the hotel and I started reading "Ego Is the Enemy" by Ryan Holiday, and there's two parts that stick out to me so far. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more. I'm on like page 20. Number one, be gracious in your success. I need to pause sometimes and be grateful for the position I have. In fact, I need to make it part of my daily morning routine. I got one million subscribers in five months, so it's kind of hard sometimes for me to be, to remember that other people would literally kill to be where I am. Number two, the ability to evaluate one's own ability. The ability to evaluate one's own ability is the most important skill of all. Without it, improvement is impossible. But what does that mean? This is slow down. You're saying a lot of things. What does that mean? The ability to evaluate one's own ability. So the ability to like scale yourself. To what? To scale yourself, to analyze yourself. Scale is, yourself? Yeah, like, like measure yourself. Measure your strength. Okay. The ability to evaluate one's own ability is the most important skill of all. Without it, improvement is impossible. Uh-huh. See yourself with a little bit of distance, like a third-person perspective. Okay. This also spoke to me because... I noticed a lack of self-awareness in myself even before reading this book. Sometimes I catch myself too caught up in work and asking myself who I am. It's very difficult to answer that question. Who, who are my parents? What are one of my interests? What did I, uh, where did I grow up? Uh, who are my friends? Who taught me what I know? What's my <coughs> fucking story? How did I get here? Who am I? I need more self-awareness. I need to write my entire life story somewhere, year by year. Confused and anxious is the title card for that day. All right, so let's take a break. Yeah. Let's talk about stuff, then we'll go into the third yeah. day. Um, There's four days in total. Wait, why are you... What did you decide to start the podcast again? And what have you been well, up yeah. to? We didn't even no, fucking I said get it. To- Dude, I literally... What the fuck? Did you weren't listening? No, no, I don't think you said it. No, you didn't go in depth. Dude, I gave a 20-minute speech. You didn't say it. Which was, oh, yeah, he, I guess he kind of did. What do you mean I kind of did? I gave a 20-minute speech. Because he was like, because I realized there was a fire and flame. Bingo, and, bingo, yeah, yeah, yeah. bingo, dude. Traveling. I literally fucking gave you a 20-minute speech on oh, why. Yeah. 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 Fucking yeah. cocksuckers. Anyways, dude, how do you still feel the same way that you need to sprint, you know, buy your mom a house, pay us $10,000 a month, baby? <laughs> <laughs> does that <laughs> still hold truth anywhere? Um yeah, uh, how, how has the change or is it still the same? How has it improved? I think the way it changed is I realized I don't want to make a lot of money. I want to uh, be comfortable with making less money. <clears throat> um, I want to take more of an approach of um, simple, simple winnings. Because during this That's time, that's a I was good title for a book, dude. Simple, simple winnings. winnings, dude. That's. T- I thought you were gonna say simple living, which is also sounds cool. <laughs> Simple winning. Simple win is yeah. a good title. Dude. Um, but yeah, because I during this time I was following a format. I was trying to just like do what all the other YouTubers are doing, get as much money as possible, sell as much merch, ride around in a, t- in a Tesla, and um, that is what everybody does, dude. Yeah, merch, it's like get a Tesla, put horns on it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> get a midget. <laughs> that's the, dude, that's every crew old? needs a midget. That was so weird, like because Dwarf Mumba was in Logan's. I think David, I don't know if David Dobrik had one. Yeah. Did he? Big Nick. Oh, shit, you're right. Dude, they all had a midget, dude. That's fucked up. God damn. And yeah, and Dunny Duncan had like the little black guy, little Tyrone or whatever. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that, wasn't his, that, was, that wasn't his name? What the fuck? <laughs> I thought it was. Yo, <laughs> <he said laughs> little Tyrone. <laughs> and then he actually believed that was his name? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even a joke. Yeah. He genuinely believed that was the name. That's fucked Damn, up. I don't know why that's so funny. Little Tyrone. Shit. Hey, what's up, Little Tyrone? Fuck. Yeah, it's so kind of. It sounds horrible. It's Tyrone's it a big name, so to put little behind it is yeah. crazy. It's uh, there's a word for it, like jumbo shrimp. You know what the word is? Yeah. What is it? No, I don't know. Is but it, I have it, it. Is it juxtaposition? It has an X in it. Yes, the word, but is it's it, not juxtaposition. Juxtaposition Because it, it's like contrast. something that, that um, <coughs> yeah, I guess, uh, I don't know. No, there's a there's a more specific word, I think. Because, you know, shrimp or small, so saying jumbo shrimp is. Yeah, it's like big, small. Anyway, so so you think juxtaposition. 
Th- that's what I that said. That means contrast. But he said no. That means comparison. Right. So I no, read more it, and I take everything from now I'm the smartest. <laughs> no, contrast is not the right thing. It's juxtaposition. But it's big buddy. small. It's no, no, but there's a specific word with the... It's kind of like an uh, when they say an it's Anna something rule. where like the word is spelled the same uh, like normal and backwards. Anagram. Anagram. I know everything. Dude, Look, it's juxtaposition. Hot. It's getting hot in here. Can I turn on the AC? It's on. What the fuck? No, that's a heater. Oh, we can just turn it off. It's cold. Yeah. I'll How are you it. hot? The f- it's okay. cold to you? Oh. Hold on. Juxtaposition. are sweating. I think you might be getting hit. Let's switch. So. Yeah, you guys can switch. Maybe. I know Stacey doesn't like that at all, dude. Why do mess- I not like that? It messes with the frame and all this. People are getting confused. Dude, this is the heater. No, it's more. This seat's more in it. <laughs> I wasn't even getting hit by it. Oh. <laughs> Look, it says. Well, no, I'm still not getting hit, but it's going in between us. Look, juxtaposition. The fact that two things can be seen or placed close together with contracting effect. <laughs> what is a juxtaposition example? What the fuck? All's fair in love and war? Yeah, he's right. It might not be juxtaposition. It's not. There's another specific word. Let me put jumbo Dude, shrimp. I'm going to turn off the heater. All right. While you keep jumbo, jumbo shrimp word. Or should I not look at it and see who thinks about it? Uh, I don't know. I don't oxymoron? Know. Yeah, oxymoron. Catch 22. What do you mean catch 22? What does that mean? No, it's oxymoron. I think that's the word. Catch 22 means like contradiction, right? Look, what is an oxymoron? Jumbo shrimp. Yeah, it's an oxymoron. That's the word. There's another word. There's a synonym for oxymoron. That right, is like so I literally just looked it up. Dude, don't get back because you were and wrong. It is this oxymoron. No, dude, I literally just you're looked wrong. it up. And you're telling me there's another word. Now, you were so confident about juxtaposition, and then you found oxymoron. Right, so I used the internet. And I said from the start. the smartest scientist in the world. And it told me that answer. And you're saying it's not there's scientist, another by the word. Way. But, okay. You said Google was created by scientists? It was a joke. That's not a no, joke. No, it wasn't a joke. Why it was, it was a just joke? wrong. It's well, called right. being wrong. If, it, if you call it a joke, it's a bad one. So it's a yeah. bad joke. But it's still a joke. <laughs> I didn't say it was a good joke. Your Honor, now it was next a, question. It was a joke. Like the guy who jumped to hug the judge. Did y'all see that? That was crazy. Hug dude, 20, the judge. Dude, 2024 <laughs> starts off judge. like insane. You, <laughs> you know, could, you and can say that. Dude, did the guy. I was just trying to hug her. <laughs> when the guy started sprinting towards the judge, like right before, did you guys hear what he was telling the judge? So the judge Hell says, nah, make bitch. a case for yourself as to why you should. Um, you know, go on probation or whatever. He was like, I feel I've changed. I'm no longer violent. Yada, yada. Literally, he's giving this whole speech. <laughs> oh, I didn't see the and beginning. And then like, as she was I didn't like, see the beginning. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. So-and-so. Um, uh, I, it, uh, it is of my opinion that I don't think you're ready to get back in. And he sprints towards it right away. Now, that's the, funny. The ju- that's a federal crime, like attacking that. a judge. Uh, I don't think and that's ever happened in history. It's happened a few times, but really? there's a reason why you don't do it because you get like 20 years minimum. I mean, judge is like the top, yeah, top, exactly. top. And and the judge said uh, he needs, so she's he's she's charging him and she's the judge in that fucking case. So basically, well, yeah. no, no, I'm saying for this extra charge. Yeah, like she's of her, the one who decides. She's the one who, so it's not like, well, I, don't, I, think, I don't think that should do that. I'm well, it's, that. it is what it is. Because she's already the judge for this other previous case. Conflict so of interest. Dude, I, I, I know they're going to um, oh, he, record he's gonna, that no, next. And the thing is, like, a lot of times they don't have prisoners show up in situations like that. They'll be like, hey, I'll kill my... The prisoner will tell the guards, I'm going to kill myself if you try to bring me to court. And if they... Um, Can somebody do that? Threaten, Can somebody kill themselves in jail? If they threaten uh, yeah. self-harm or something like that, Sometimes they'll like not bring it to that specific judge, but she wrote like under and by all means necessary, which basically uh, prisons cannot refuse that. Like they have to, they strap him. They've had people like in a fucking wheelchair strapped down and everything like mm-hmm. fucking Hannibal Lecter uh, in those situations. She needs to read Ego's enemy because that just sounds like her ego is getting in the way. Wait, so she said no, by I mean, all he means, needs to be, by all means. He needs to be wait, literally. Wait, you didn't finish it. She said by all means, like bring him to me. Yeah, yeah, for trial. Whoa. So, but it's a thing That's that ju- it's a thing that judges give uh, prisons to where like there's no getting out of it. Basically, I do see Alejandro's point. It is a little fucked up because they're in such a position of like extreme power. They decide yeah. the fate. So her being, she's biased. No, obviously, no. Usually, but usually they would get. But at I, the same time, 
from my understanding, they I give can see it. She deserves. She deserves to. Be I the think one. they should free him, dude, and sign him for the Olympics. Cause that jump <laughs> was crazy, dude. That jump was crazy. It wasn't that crazy. What are you talking about? Did you, you know how tall like, that shit was? Normal, was a normal he jump. cleared like six feet. Dude, what are you talking? about? That was a crazy jump. No, that's that's a normal dude, jump. You, you saw how he jumped? Like it wasn't like jumping. Well, well, you dive. When you dive, you can go six feet. All right. So. I don't think I could make that jump unless I have the adrenaline of the gods through my veins and I s- use all my calf muscles and all leg muscles to jump. Like, I mean, he used every ounce of energy to skydive. Because the thing is, he's he dove and he grabs her, actually. Yeah. Like, he didn't miss. Dude, it was crazy to see her hair just... Yeah. <laughs> and like and I agree match. that she should judge him, by the way. And she should be fierce and I he should be... I think she should, should too. I think they should give him I another think she chance should too. They should give her the satisfaction of Dude, like he already no, but think about how bad it because is. Because he put he her was hands already, on her. He put his hands. Yeah, yeah. On he beat her, her up. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, dude. Punched her multiple times. Jail immediately. I think they should just. She deserves it. She deserves they it. Should, yeah. They should. Uh, you know how they snap. That was crazy. Is at first stuff. I thought it was the same judge that I had because I also went to court in Las Vegas. And I kept like, is that the same judge? But it wasn't. It wasn't. But that would have been so crazy. That would have been a, if it was a the glitch. same judge. Yeah. They um, ran out of characters. <laughs> <laughs> There's not many judges in that court. There's like five. All right. So what were we talking before this? We got a little bit lost. The cabin. Cabin cleanse. Okay. I guess that's all we got. I think we should uh, make a right turn. Let's explore a new neighborhood. He doesn't want to listen to your cabin cleanse. Well, I, th- I think I two th- chapters th- is good. We can pick it back up at a uh, next episode. No, I mean, there, there's not much left. There's not much left. Oh, I thought that it was a whole would, notebook. It would rather no, 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 it's just three <laughs> pages. It would rather be okay. great to get out of the way and then. And yeah. Then no, well, we're talking about you the, needing money and having to take care of people. You don't oh, like no three, longer need oh, money. Oh yeah. <laughs> just because I mean, um, and you want to live simple. simple. I think winnings. it goes back to like doing it for the outcome. If money comes in, that's great. But like, I want to focus on doing something for the art of it because I love it. Now I do have a pressure to make money just because I want to live a comfortable life while also doing the projects that I'm happy with, which cost money. And I mean, I want to want to start a family soon. So now I don't want to start a family. Are you being serious about this or just fucking around? Well, because that's a very soon, extreme thing not, to say. Not soon, soon. What's I, what's soon? 28. I want to have a kid at age 28. You're 25. But but maybe it might not happen at that. I'm I'm 23. No, you're about to be 24, buddy. Well, I'm about to be 24. He has five years left. I have four years. Four years. I'm about to be 24. Now it might not happen at 28, but my cutoff time to have kids, and I want to have two to three, is age 35. What the fuck, bro? That's too much of a gap. He said 28 to 35. No, but for three kids. First of the first kid. Let's talk about the first kid first. First kid, twenty eight to thirty. I want to have it around that time before I'm thirty. Right. So if you're gonna have a kid, let's say twenty nine in the middle, that seems fair, right? In the middle. Sure. Uh, how long do you have to be married to someone to start having a kid? Because you know how some people like to travel. I think like uh, yeah. Before they get married, yeah. so they live like the single honeymoon phase. Yeah. Because you want to travel the world, clapping cheeks with your wife. So. 29 do you want to travel one year two years i think i think you should be dating for at least four years before you get married so you already have to know your wife today right now yeah pick a girl over your phone right now and message her yeah you know how people get roasted and they're like you married your third ad i i never knew that until i saw this football player video and then the girl turned around and said is that a touchdown and uh, I respect all women. I think they're all beautiful. I know exactly which video you're talking about. But if about. you're a superstar, let's just say people expect a little bit more. Now, I love all women. I think they're all beautiful. Yeah. But everybody was commenting third at. And I was like... <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> fuck, holy shit, dude. And it was in her account. No, one It wasn't even like a meme page. Yeah. So dude, that must be brutal when people start getting cooked online. The thing is, don't post stuff online if you're not that person. So I understand. Well, dude, maybe it might have been a cute, fun couple video, and people I just Instagram. Dude. By the way, is worse than TikTok now. Like the comments and the shit that I've seen, people probably about ten people die this week on Instagram. I fucking open it, and there's like extreme videos there. Really? Like, and it's happened more. It's a thing now. Like a lot of people are talking to like, what the fuck? Like Instagram got crazy all of a sudden. 
Yeah, so many inside jokes. I keep hearing like basketball people and then people pull like, <clears throat> not always. And you're supposed to already know what that means. Yeah, they're not always, but it's every single time. And they're talking about black people whenever they well, commit I'm a crime. Well, I'm not on social media, so I wouldn't know. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's this you good. are, I've seen you post stuff. I posted a story probably like a month ago. One story. Okay. I'm well, actually, I'm, I'm locked out of my Instagram account. I can't see anything. I don't know why, but they restricted me. Now, for guys who don't have social don't media like happened. yourselves, I would expect more out of you. No, but, but I, like, I, like you, I, I like to be not informed by things because I find out things from people because everybody has a phone. Yeah, so yeah. whenever something crazy happens in the world, somebody asks me, like, hey, did you see what happened? It'll be like, no. And they'll show me on their phone. And that's such a more exciting way to find out about things rather than, like, alone in my bed in the morning. Yeah. Scrolling. Alone in your bed in the morning? What's wrong with that sentence? Nothing. I'm just repeating just to make sure I heard no, you. No, you right. repeated it like an asshole. <laughs> yeah. Like an asshole. <laughs> But uh, you could do that with anything now. Like, I, I'd say something. Anything. Just like, what you had say for breakfast you, today. Say me. What was the last thing you ate? I ate um, Chipotle. You ate Chipotle? Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. right. That, that, that high-pitched right? voice makes it sound like they're judging the fuck out of what you just said. What were we saying before we got deviated by Instagram? We're saying something deep. We're going down the right path. Do you guys remember what we're saying? Uh, no. And that's because there, this is called the tangent show, where we go on tangents. And in fact, pull oh. out is appropriate because we pull out of the fucking topic too many times. No, I remember. remember. Steezy was going to get married. And he basically, he said four years of dating. And if he plans to have a, a kid at 29, he needs to already, around this time, meet a girl that he's going to date for four years. Yeah. And then Time's you're going to get married in four years, right? Or you're going to get married earlier than four years? I think I would have to know a girl by minimum four years before, before you I get married. I, I can marry her. So that would put your marriage at 28. So after you get married, how many years of being married? I think two. So that means you would have to have your first kid at 30. I can do that. I think so I can do that. So you have to find your wife. But I would have to find her now. This year. Damn. Pushing it, dude, this year. Fuck. Hey, wife speed run. You're good. You got this. One that year scares less. the hell out of me. You should actually. start the YouTube video like that. Hey, guys, this year I really want to find a wife. And then you go back to it in a year. That's the worst way to find a wife. Why not? Just you got to leverage all the resources. You've got one internet? year left. No, but that, that, that one lowers year the quality of the resources. You don't want, so what are you you gonna don't want the women who's going to come to somebody they find on the internet. Um, Just because they posted a YouTube video, that's you're gonna get local. So how are you women. gonna create opportunities to meet women? Um, he's that's gonna, question he, number he's one. He's gonna in sleep. Person. He's gonna sleep with the actress as he hires, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> don't say shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's so dark. Uh, Casting couch? No, never, never, ne couch? never, never, never do anything intimate with people you work with. Never, except sex. <laughs> <laughs> do they have a couch? My question is: Do you have a couch in your apartment? I do, I do. And I just came today. When actors show up, to I just came. Cast. Actors aren't going to be coming to my place to cast. Are they going to be sitting on a couch? That's so unprofessional to have casting calls at your place. Now I've done it once. Go, what no, the fuck? but that's because it was during COVID, and it was the same day that it was the same day that all the restaurants and everything closed down. The library closed down everything. How did you feel and doing she that? She was the one who 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 threw out the idea. And he I was trying to make a COVID sketch on YouTube, and I was just trying to get work done. So, yeah. So you said, "Does do the casting in my couch?" No. So what did you say at my house? No, I wasn't the one who threw out the idea. She threw out. The what idea. did she say? Let's do it at your place. Yeah. 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 And then she showed me the show uh, "Sunny Side of." It's always sunny. sunny in yeah. yeah. I had to sit through two episodes while I waited for her to leave. Dude, that is hilarious, dude. Though Steezy puts himself in the crazy situations because he can't say no. Yeah. That's like a funny yeah. character That's in hilarious. a TV show. She wanted to build a fort. What the fuck? With, uh, with the couch pillows. Uh, she wanted to have sex with you. Yeah, dude. She wanted to have sex with you. And I you mean, know that's, this. That, that's a fact. So we can move on past that fact. Dude, now, but how does he do it, dude? What's He's funny, like a genius, what's funny is autistic if, pickup artist, dude. Dude, if there was, if we were all in a TV show, and the TV show is just like of our lives and exaggerated versions of ourselves, Stacey would join 
a Nazi group because he's afraid of saying no, and that would be hilarious. Like if he just it just escalates the whole episode. You just can't I say no. I need to no. get better at saying no. <laughs> Dude, but that's so fucking no. funny. That's so funny. I agree. Imagine with you. all of a sudden you see like people uh, protesting. It's like, is that Steezy? <laughs> and he's just in the middle of the fucking line. Damn, that would be crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, it's, it's, uh, I think Ryan Holiday talks about this because you mentioned him earlier, Ego's Enemy author. He says that as you get success, like, uh, the discipline is insane no now because, like, there's more and more opportunities. So I feel uh, you're probably going to struggle with that for the rest of your life. And I'm saying you in general, like everyone who gets more opportunities. Um, but yeah. I have a question because uh, we're kind of like circling back and I've done a lot of reflecting time in Barcelona, Spain. Uh, do you have any expectations for this year? Like, you know how people do their New Year's resolutions. It's like, do you have things that you're trying to focus on or... You know, it's not that you're fixated on these goals, but a North Star. Like, you know what? I want to be able to uh, do this. I don't do resolutions just because I know, like, I just feel like so many people set goals around that time, so they're worthless. Like, Oh, worthless. Worthless. That's how that word works, yes. Think about it. That's how that word works. No, just think about it for a little bit. Yes. It's been thought. Right, so yeah. now I'll think a little bit more <laughs> and pretend. <laughs> Anyways, in the universe, I feel like on January 1st, everybody setting their goals at the same time makes the goal portion of the universe too saturated to where each individual goal holds less weight. So if you set a goal around that time, you're just doing it with everybody else and nobody's going to follow it. You're not going to follow it. You might as well start and during another good. time. That's pretty good. I actually really like that. It sounds dumb. But I do like it. No, I do like it that it's like the universe is getting like so many goals that the universe is like, hey, I'm just going to, I can't, exactly. I can't complete this many. Exactly. That's why, I, yeah. I like that. It was kind of cool. Yeah. I believe in that. Yeah. Same thing with No Not November. I'll never do it because uh, let's say NoFap is true in the spiritual sense. You know how they always said like. And right, now you you're getting your, crazy. No, if you, keep your, <laughs> so. if, you, if you keep your cosmic energy that makes you a better person. Do you like cosmic energy? Now, if everybody does it the same month, you don't even know then what that you're means. just like everybody else. Yeah. Right? Like during every month. Anyways. But you, you like cosmic energy, right? Uh, no, because I know where you're going. <laughs> what do you mean? No, you want to keep your cosmic energy. Did I you? can give you more of mine so you can keep it. <laughs> you know There's this, I can fill you up with cosmic energy, Stacey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's this girl Jesus, on bro. Instagram. She's so fucking funny. She... Oh my god, I can't remember her name. She's blonde, and she she always of has these awkward uh, comedy skits with her. Do you want to marry her? That's my question. No, why uh, not? Because I don't find her like marriage material. Why? She's not attractive to me. Like, in, in so it's all about physical. attractiveness for you. Well, I don't even know this person. Right. So the only thing left is attraction. So you said she was funny. So you do know her. Well, yeah, I'm a, like I like her. So why this? Why is this even a conversation? I wouldn't marry her. She's married. Anyways, just say that dude. she's already married. You could have just said that. Well, she's not married, but you see then how why that did you lie matter. to me? That, that doesn't matter. Don't lie to me again. So she does these skits and her you roommate pass through or what? <laughs> Go. Oh, is that? Oh, there's a charger right there because it's those chargers, right? It's, it's the yellow ones. No, no, look at the yellow ones, right? Well, then it's that one. Right? I mean, dude, we can wrap it up for this comeback episode and then shoot another one. Can you see? No, look. It's the one I, I think we've already been... I think we've already been... Yeah, you can just move the whole thing over here. Pass it through underneath. And then we can just... No, no, it's the other one. It's the other one. What is this guy doing? There we go. All right, so what about the funny girl? Uh, I think we just lost the sauce for this for this one. I forgot, like, too many interruptions, dude. 
Lost you gotta the, stay on top, but this is the big leagues. Lost the mojo, dude. <laughs> you gotta keep all the thoughts, you know, come back to this thought. You gotta this is the big leagues. You gotta chuckle stuff, buddy. You're you're in a real podcast, buddy. Okay. So we're gonna ask you to have multiple thoughts. Now, Steezy, back to when you wanted me to say back to 30 like, minute mark when you were talking about it's like hot potato. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I think this is a good time to all right. He wants go to go. To right, let's go back. Let's go back. Third act. Is this the third act? <laughs> third day. Dude, how third long act. is this? There's four days. Jesus Christ. Right? Too many. How many days is it? Four? Four days. Okay. Th- yeah, four days. Third day. Today, we explored the backyard of the camp. It, <laughs> it, uh, it drifts. It drifts off into a snowy forest and eventually lands into an icy river. We throw rocks in the <laughs> river. <laughs> <laughs> we do Did I remember there's a line in the movie where it says, God damn, you give a retarded book, it's going to try to nail a hammer with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, dude. I don't know where that's from. That's so funny. Uh, Radio? It's, it just sounds, oh, it's like an old movie. That's a good movie. It might be from radio. Yeah, you remind me of radio. Go ahead. Bro. Uh, <laughs> that was fucked up because he's black. <laughs> Yeah, and retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, we throw rocks into the river uh, from the bridge across it. I don't know why I'm writing this down. There's no information here. Anyways, after that, we drove an hour and 30 minutes to Yosemite Falls. We all needed to shit really badly, but there were no restrooms because of COVID. But thankfully, Alejandro had toilet paper in his backpack, so we all walked into the forest and took our shits naturally. Then we started hiking up Yosemite Falls at 3 p.m., which didn't seem like a bad idea at the time. My phone said that the entire hike takes one hour, Mm -hmm. so that means we would have (laughs) about 15 minutes to enjoy the top. We start hiking, and I could already tell that this was going to be bad. Well, it was one hour long. That's what the that's what the phone said. But it didn't take into account the ups and downs. Yeah, it was like a four-hour hike. Yeah, four-hour hike. Um, um, we started hiking and I could already tell that this was going to be bad. I was exhausted 15 minutes in. Phil and Alejandro are complaining that I'm going too slow, but I know they're tired too. About no, I wasn't. I wasn't tired. I know you were tired, bro. I know you're tired. About 40 minutes into tired. the hike, I lost them. They were too far ahead of me. So I stopped and took a few minutes to contemplate on uh, I, so I stopped to take a few minutes to kind of plan on turning back around. There was a lot of ice at the top, so it was very slippery. Not to mention there was a lot of uh, cliffs, so you could die very easily. Uh, um, I don't know why I'm writing any of this down. Just keep going fast, fast. I turned around at 4.05 since uh, our turnaround time is 4.15. And I asked some hikers how long it would take to get to the top. They said another hour, which means that my phone was completely wrong. Oh, yeah. This is a two to three hour hike. It took me about an hour to get all the way back down. It was pitch black and Phil had the keys, so I couldn't get into the car. I sat on the log next to the car and it was so cold, probably like 25 degrees. I could have been eaten by bears, too. Yeah, dude. You could have been eaten by a bear. We could have, too. Right. More likely you guys. Yeah, because yeah. we're in the mountains. Yeah. yeah. I knew Phil and Alejandro were still going to take a while, so I tried to, to go to sleep, which I surprisingly did for about 10 minutes, I think. After an hour, they finally came, and we drove uh, back one hour and 30 minutes. On the drive back, I was reminiscing about 2018 so I could find my urgency. I was remembering meeting Joseph Costello on New Year's. Uh, my mom not wanting me to drive to Texas State with Joseph to collab, getting heartbroken by blank. But what do you mean blank? Her name was blank. Her name was blank? Yeah, her name was blank. That's Blanca in Espanol. Uh, it's probably Gabby or something. <laughs> Gabby. Uh, meeting Lorenzo and Dylan, flying to LA with $200. I was trying so hard to remember everything I was feeling during this time because this is when I was truly hungry. This is when I would die for it. This is when I had humility instead of ego. See, I want that Steezy back, dude. Painful adventure and reminiscing is the title card. 
Dude, I want that Steezy back, dude. You flew to LA with $200. Now you can't even go to Costa Rica with us? Think about that. Just think about that. We need to buy your plane ticket tonight, dude. You, wait, what the fuck? You can't shake your head. You literally just said you want to go back to the hunger, dude. $200 you went to LA. And you can't come to Costa Rica for two weeks? Two weeks is a long time. No, no, but it's in your budget. It's not like it's crazy. It's not in my budget. Anyways, we're going to get lost. We'll talk about this later. So, uh... Let me just scan day four to see if it's worth even reading. Oh, fuck, yeah. Oh, fuck. What, we'll get to what it. happened? Yeah, we'll get to it. Let's take a quick I break, dude. Just, I that just, was a cliffhanger. It's too much reading. Yeah, I just, we'll take a break. Too yeah, much I'm reading. I ruined the surprise for myself. Um, let's just, uh, well, then uh, it's New Year's. So um, what are your resolutions? These has not because the universe won't listen to them. What are your New, your new Year's resolutions? Uh, I want to run the New York City Marathon. I want to make 30 videos for my YouTube channel. Okay. And I want to buy a house. Those are the big three. Right. So first two. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Why is he laughing? Last one. Amazing. You know what I'm saying? Hey, positive vibes. That's that's it. I was just. You right, know that, what was saying? that was that, a good save. That was a good save. I was say? What do you that mean was good a good save? save. What do you mean? Because that's all I was gonna say. Pretty good. That was um, a good save. I'll give you that one. That was pretty genius. You know what I'm saying? My same thing. Post 31 videos. It's one more than you. Cause I'm a little bit ahead. 31 videos. You're older. Oh, Continue. Oh, You're right. ahead. So in age. <laughs> older. It's perspective. No, it's I literally feel young age. at soul. So my soul is 10 years younger than your yours. Your organs don't your feel soul, that young. It's all emptied out and old. Dude. Your heart is wearing out. I'm a young soul, right? So <laughs> He's a young salt. So in my soul, yeah, I'm legal 18 years old. You know, your body can't even process <laughs> food normally. It you, can't actually do it all. I used to think <laughs> about that a lot. Like I used to think, I used to watch movies where, because you know, you're a kid and you're very hungry and you're poor, right? So you're seeing a movie. And then you see someone say, oh, they bring them like pizza. And they say, oh, I can't because I'm, you know, I can't have that, honey, because I'm going to get gas and all that. And I used to think, what the fuck? You can't eat pizza? Yeah. How can you not eat pizza? That's what I used to think. Now, dude. Now you get it. I got to be careful with what I eat. 100%. Dude, if I eat the wrong thing, I'm fucked, bro. Yeah. I'm fucked. And when I know something's bad for me and I still eat it, I'm fucked. So now I understand. Yeah, I went to Sweet Greens today just because that's, and that was intentional. And there was Chick-fil-A. Why was it intentional? Explain yourself. Whoa. You're a sex addict. That's why it was intentional. Why is it? What? what he likes fuck? the girl who works there. He calls her Sweet Cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens, dude. He doesn't say I want to go to Sweet Greens. That's a cute little story. He wants to go to Sweet Cheeks. I found love at the Sweet Greens on Brazos and Fifth. But uh, mm. there was a. Uh, before I got to go to her. <laughs> They should. And Wait, say, is this true? Yeah, well, this no, no. True, I, dude. I, I meant. I meant <laughs> <laughs> he came the streets. No, no. I, I mentioned to him that today I went to Sweet Greens because I was like, if I eat something too heavy, my stomach is gonna hurt. So I need something light. And the last time we went to Sweet Greens, I put y'all on Sweet Greens. <laughs> dude, <laughs> shut the fuck. <laughs> up. What? I did. I told Steezy, hey, dude, go to Sweet Greens. I told Phil, go to Sweet. Did you go to the worst restaurants, by the way, out of the <laughs> three of us? Just because they have two thousand calories per fucking what plate. Was that one? Uh, $4.99. <laughs> At a Walmart parking lot. And he got mad. What'd you get mad? Wait, for context, uh, Alondra recommended this ramen place to us, and it's called Fo 99 What's wrong with that? It's 99 cents. P-H-O-99. And it's pronounced and it's Fa, a, by the way. And it's in a Walmart parking lot. It's good. Walmart parking lot, 99 cents, 13-year-old Dude, kid takes your order. Nothing that you put into your body that costs 99 cents is good, Period. It is unnatural. It is synthetic and cheap to make. There's no way. Damn. Damn. I mean, I, I, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing I can say, dude. <laughs> You're like, but there was you a very cute girl there place. who was serving me. And that's why I, said, I was like, oh, there was a cute girl there. And I said she had really pretty eyes. Now, now everybody who watches this podcast is going to go s- try to steal her from you. Yeah. I mean, dude, she's never mine. She's never mine? She'll, she'll, uh, like, she'll never be mine because you can't own anyone first. Well, not with that attitude. Damn. You know what I'm You're saying? Right. Now, how long did you think about telling her you have pretty eyes? Because I know you were stressing about that. 
No, I wasn't stressing. Yes, he about was. It. He's trying to say you I'm know. Scratching my head right now, thinking. He was like, "Hey, you have," and she looked up. Oh, not yet, not yet. You were you waiting for the perfect moment to say, "You have pretty eyes." You and can't just you, say that. What? You can't just say that. Yeah, so you can't. So he's got to wait for the perfect moment. Oh, yeah. That's now he true. probably thought he said it all cool, but if you look at it from a, from the outside, I can't act. Otherwise, I would act a very good. Yeah. Hey, you have pretty eyes, like creepy thing. <laughs> And he's thinking, he's saying it's so cool. Hey, you, you, know, you know how like uh, people be like, oh, I wonder why I'm not looking approachable. This is how I think I look in public and you're smiling, kind of whatever. And then it just cuts to you like eyes wide open, like just thousand yard stare. Yeah. Thousand yard stare. So, I mean, I don't think so it what's was. what's her reply? What's her reply? I love you. <laughs> so you banged her at Sweet Greens? No, because love isn't sex. Oh, hey, yeah, he's like growing that. up. <laughs> but uh, So you married her? Yeah, the wedding is tomorrow. Wait, married now. Yeah, I'm married now. I beat Steezy to his own goal. We're getting married at Zilker. And oh, the man. guy officiating it is a homeless guy that walked next to me yesterday and called me a pussy. True well, because he knows, because you didn't talk to that girl. He knew. Yeah, he motivated the me. The homeless guy knew. Yeah, he was giving didn't... me the push. And by the way, true story, that, ha- that happened, which furthers my feelings towards him. But... um. Wait, wait, but what did she actually reply when you said, hey, I like your eyes? You oh, so you eyes. did say that to her? Yeah, yeah, because she had pretty eyes. Well, what color were they? They were blue. And what did she say? She was like, oh my God, thank you. And then what did you say? What? What did you say? I don't care if you like it or not. I'm still giving it, yo. And I walked away. Jesus. <laughs> no, but what did you generally say now? Uh, she's thank you. I mean, that was it. I was like... Have a good day or whatever. I forget what I have said. Have a good day? I mean, because I was checking out. You said have a good day? I mean, I did, yeah, I didn't ask for a number or anything. <laughs> dude, what the fuck? Dude, I you mean, can't just give a compliment and just not follow through. I mean, but he might go back. It might be oh, like a long-term thing. Oh, this fucking little cocksucker is manipulating her. How is that manipulating? <laughs> He's taking it one step at a time. Dude, yeah, because why do you go straight to anal? Just like zero to 60. <laughs> Listen. So next time you see her, you think she's going to remember you? No, I mean, I think she... No, it was just... I, girls remember six feet tall, guys. The, uh, what was look, 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 I mean, I'm happy. Fucking cocksucker. <laughs> you know they do. The only, the only thing that was going through my... Like, as oh, I was doing it, because uh, it was like 11 a.m. or whatever, 10.50. It was kind of like early-ish for a Sunday. Irreversible. That's what they remember it, go. And... Uh, uh, I was there in line and in the middle, I'm like looking down and looking at the menu. I was like, oh yeah, I want this. I want this. I want this. And there was a moment like in the middle of her preparing the bowl that I was like, oh, she has really pretty eyes. Mm-hmm. So then two seconds go by. She's packing Two it seconds? In. I mean, very like a short moment between right. she's putting the food into the container and whatever. Yeah. And then I'm taking out my card and processing payment. I was like, oh, you have really pretty eyes, by the way. And that was it. It was just genuine. Like, it, the thought came and left my brain right away. Dude, I know you, dude. I know you were stressing about this. I was dude. not there stressing. There is no way you say that naturally. That's what no, I no, do. That's what I think. Imagine dude. you say it. I like, think the problem is that, like... You're well, really pretty. I, that's how you probably said it. And she was <laughs> like, what? Imagine. You have pretty eyes. What? Your eyes are shitty. Yeah. You know, you're like... <laughs> <laughs> that's a... Uh, uh, hot rod. Hot rod. You look pretty. What? You look shitty. <laughs> Irreversible. What's the timestamp? I'm gonna. I want to start quoting this, dude. Don't no, be fucking saying shit let's like let's that. Let's steer clear. Film irreversible. You don't know how bad it is. You don't know. You're yeah, playing you with haven't fire. even seen it. That movie's horrible. It's too much, dude. Timestamp: thirty you, minutes. You should not mention it until should, I see it. I have should. to see it first. Yeah. So I understand what I'm mentioning. Yeah, you have to see it first. I don't want to see it. It's crazy. Uh, All right. So uh, next time. Banger. Now, now, what about this? <laughs> what, what about this strategy when talking to women? What about intentionally looking like an idiot? Right. So that's I do that for twenty eight <laughs> years now. <laughs> What's the strategy there? It's no, like I'm still no, waiting for it to no, pay no. off. Yeah. Let's say, let's say, no, but it's intentional. Like it's like part of your comedy. You're like Andy Kaufman, like Andy Kaufman ing it. I don't well, know that guy that was is. autistic. You know Majorly <laughs> artistic. No, no, no. He was artistic, but people thought he was autistic. Well, he was now, artistic. The whole, the, the whole thing was a was a show. It was a character. But like basically, let's say for your sweet greens example, you know, as you you're she's handing you the receipt, you say it on your way out. You're walking backwards, and you're like, "By the way, you have really pretty eyes. 
you turn around and you bang your head <laughs> against the door. Perfect timing. Yeah, and yeah. it's just like one of those cute moments. Like she goes like And then you shit your pants. <laughs> 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 yeah, then you shit your pants. I think I think you're. No, no, I think it would be no. cooler if I was. You're the girl, and no. I'm talking to you, and I was like, "You have." Re- I don't even say. I was like, "Oh, and by the way, okay, so this is the direction I'm checking out." He's gonna come I'm up like, with a huge laugh after what he says. <laughs> it's gonna be a huge laugh. He's like, "Oh, by the way, I look at the camera. You have really pretty eyes." <laughs> explosion in the background and everything. She dies in the fire. She dies in the fire because there was an explosion. So she was in the background. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's in the background. She's behind me as I'm saying, and she's like, "What? I didn't hear what you said." And I walk away thinking it's so cool. <laughs> Dude, amazing, amazing! And That's then everyone okay. comes outside and cheers for me, and I'm on top of their shoulders, <laughs> and someone's sucking my dick, dude. And everything. what the fuck? It's crazy! It's cool. crazy! Ah, uh, ah! Uh, <laughs> Quick, little Tyrone, little Tyrone! <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, talk about little Tyrone. Wait, you know, fucking Stephen Hawking was getting it in. Oh, oh, I definitely wanted to do bring this up. With Do the memes are crazy, dude. Have you seen the memes? Y'all haven't seen the memes of no, Stephen yeah, Hawking? Seen, well, wait, are every time there's someone in a wheelchair or someone like propelling, dude, yeah. the memes are going crazy. <laughs> and they say Stephen Hawking yeah. when he finds out about Jeffrey dude, Epstein. Beyonce and Jay Z are on the list. Yeah. Beyonce's One time on you don't want to be on the list. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you always want to be on the list. Except for this one okay, time. Somebody made a video, a joke, where it was like, uh, the skit was like, the one time you do get on the list. Oh. <laughs> and he was like, fuck yeah, I finally got in the party. And it releases all the names. He's like, fuck. You know. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Well. It was good times. But uh, I think, have you had no, okay, interactions okay. so bad that you can't go back to the place? Um, Where you're like, dude, that was the verbal equivalent of crop dusting the whole room and then taking a shit in the middle so of the table. I phased that today. What happened? So <laughs> actually, I went to go, like, go crack a barrel before you. Got, what the fuck? No, because I remembered mine. I oh. Anyways. Well, dude, you can't laugh at yours. <laughs> uh, I can't like, help it. I can't help it. So I went to crack a barrel before you guys came. You know, we're not supposed to eat, but I ate because I don't follow the rules. Yeah. You um, ate. So you yeah. did eat. I ate a lot. Like Good a lot. Like you know, for three people. people. Yeah. You know, liars sure? burn in hell. Right. So you're gonna burn in hell, unfortunately. Well, I don't think for lying for is what I'm gonna burn in hell for. <laughs> but that's one of them. <laughs> that's the least of the reasons I'm gonna burn in hell. The bottom of the list, lying. <laughs> um, no, no. So I went right, and they have like you know the to go order where you park your car and they come to you, right? Yeah. Um, so I go, and I go to Cracker Barrel a lot, and there's this one girl. Glasses, Some, something going on. No, there's something going on. Like we both know it. It's not just my imagination. Both know it, but it's where I eat a lot. Yeah. So I don't want to mess it up, right? So I'm parked in my car. This goes back to people thinking that, oh yeah, something going on in your head. It's all smooth, and in her head, she just sees this this guy just like fucking staring at her from across the room, just like making sure that she's making yeah, eye contact like, with you. This fucking psychopath. It's like yeah, there's something going on. I'm in danger. This guy's gonna kill me if I don't smile at him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, so I'm in my, Jesus. you know, I'm in my 2001 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. 2001. It's 2001. Oh, it's 2021. Okay. Um, I was about to say you're paying that yeah, much. Yeah, can't for brag. That? Well, I can't brag about a 2001 car. Um. Anyways, <laughs> I'm there, and I'm just chilling, and then I see her coming, and I'm like, oh, is that girl? Mm. Right. Yeah. So I lower down the window. She's like, "This for Alejandro." She said my name. I caught it. I caught it how she said it. And we both lock eyes, right? And I go, yes, ma'am. And she's young. Of course, she's like 18. So me saying, yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Emphasis. No, no. Like, you know what that does to them, right? Ooh. Bingo. See, this guy gets it. Yeah. Anyways, for one second, dude, she hands me the bag with both lock eyes and I grab it. And if I had a little bit of white claws in me, this is where I go in. You know, I go in hard. But since I was still a little bit... You know, going hard. My 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 logic hit me twice. Mm. Cause dude, that was the moment. Trust me, dude. I felt that for was a m- kiss. No, what the fuck? What are you? It was a, you what the talking fuck? about going in hard. I yeah, don't know what you I mean, mean, I talk more than just taking my order. Anyways, that was a oh. moment for me to say like <laughs> yeah, talking is going in hard. <laughs> it was for like I went so hard. <laughs> it, it was basically that was the moment for me to say, hey, uh, you know. What's her name? That was the moment to yeah, say Yeah, yeah, what's your name? And she was going to say her name, and yeah, I was going to say... Small talk. That was literally the perfect moment for small talk. Yeah. 
but I eat there. So I was like, I can't do it. I can't. Yeah. That was your embarrassing story? No, no, I'm saying that's why. <laughs> Dude, he's like, and then she fucking sucked my dick, bro. It was so embarrassing. No, no, what I'm, what I'm saying is that's why I didn't do it. No, but how is that embarrassing? No, it's not. <laughs> it's not, dude. Yeah, what the I don't fuck? know. It's not. It's not. Everyone's bra- saying, like, no, everyone's no, saying. What am I bragging? I'm saying it reminded me of that. Dude, it reminded everyone's me saying this embarrassing shit horrible. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, man, she, I just like. I couldn't talk to her. <laughs> Remember when Phil said his embarrassing story and me and you were like, let's not say ours? Oh, but it's like, well, yeah. I remember that We're in the mountain right mad. He got all mad Because we, we weren't Going to say that Dude I was so yeah. upset Fucking aquatic freak uh, Oh well, I, <laughs> I guess I don't, I don't Dude know. you know We made grizzly bear it's Gorilla merch And aquatic freak merch And it's still there Well we should release Merch now that Steve is here No I think we should Just get it and wear it For the shits and gigs You know Right so we should Get merch I don't think I have An embarrassing story That's like so embarrassing I had to leave the place Cause I, cause yeah, I didn't leave, but <laughs> what I, the fuck? I was at the gym one time, and I was just like, I think I was I was changing, so I was putting my clothes back on because I got out of the sauna, and as I'm putting my clothes back on, I'm like half naked, and I feel a sneeze coming, and it's a big one, so I just like you know what I'm gonna let it out. Usually I cover it. Oh no, I did cover it. You know you can cover a sneeze so it's quiet, so I choose to cover it. You know it kind of sounds like a. To where it's like yeah, not yeah. like a whole chew. Isn't that bad for you it's though? It's bad for you, yeah. Because the fucking air give pressure you a, it could give you a concussion. But Damn, I, dude, I've, I've been doing I've that a like habit. a lot recently. Yeah, I've had a habit. Because at the office, my sneezes are like. Yeah, but so I have like a habit shots. of it, and I, it's hard for me to break it. And plus, it's it feels weird to just full out sneeze in a quiet place. I hate when people say a chew. Don't say that. <laughs> just say <laughs> this something is what else. This is the sound that <laughs> sneezes <laughs> make. It's like ha chew. It's like no. That's huh. just the sound that sneezes so make. Just say the N word when you sneeze. Is that what I you mean, want, dude? Before you even said <laughs> it, I'm not even want? kidding. Before you said anything, I, I, there was ten percent of me that was like, I think Alejandro's gonna suggest the N word here. <laughs> Anyways, aside from the N words, um, what happens if you say the N word? Nothing. You feel weird. He gets a golden star. <laughs> 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 That's what happens, dude? That would be so funny if somebody in the street comes out and it's Good like, joke. here you go, golden star. It just pops up like Mario. Like XP, 10 XP every time you say it. Yeah. Um, nice. Anyways, I was going to follow up anyways. with a, another joke, but I was afraid it wasn't going to hit as hard. So I decided to leave on my Golden Star joke and not go for seconds. <laughs> just say that. You, uh, you, uh, what is that in poker terms? You folded? Yeah. Okay. And, well, I took what I could get. Yeah, this joke was going to hit hard or it's going to bomb, dude. So yeah. I decided not to say it. Anyways. It's a quiet locker room. I decided to cover my sneeze because I don't want to bother people around me. You farted? Huge fart. You what damn. the fuck? So it's like I just stopped the pressure from going. Out this <laughs> way. It just, fuck. It was like, and it sounded like I was going to sneeze too. It was like, <laughs> and I was just like, I remember, I remember thinking like, I remember thinking so fast. My brain thought so fast. Yeah, then it like, cuts to you walking to the... Should I... Should I... And it was a full locker room, but quiet. And I remember thinking... That's so horrible, dude. Okay, here's my options. Should I acknowledge it and just, like, play it off? You know, going like, oh, fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, guys. But I... <laughs> <laughs> but I immediately. But I immediately literally throw up. But I immediately laughing. thought, like, no, don't Dude, do that. That is the worst thing you can say. I Sorry about that, guys. That was a stinky one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so I immediately chose the second option, which was just to not acknowledge it at all, pretend like it never happened. I never put on my clothes faster in my life, and I got the fuck out of there. <laughs> Dude, that was crazy. Yeah, yeah. Each quiet locker room, like. In that locker room, they don't play music, um, and so many people in there. But yeah, no, one, no one's talking. That's hilarious. That's really funny. And the that like inhale before yeah. it was like the announcement of it, like "Hey guys, announcement," and then the fart. So yeah. never let them know your next move, dude. I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. okay, day four. Whoa, 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 dude. What? Relax on the day four. Hold on. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, we have any thoughts left to finish? Because you brought up this story. So you want to make sure we wrap out embarrassing moments. Alejandro's a good host. You good? He's a good host. 
Good vibes. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Just trying my best out here. Just trying to make us enough money to start traveling the world. How about that, buddies? Huh? You're welcome. Pretty good. We, we, we already have that money, by the way. No. No. What the fuck? Dude, we can't go to Tokyo and stay there two weeks. I'm Why not? broke as a pickle. Because it costs like $10,000 like flight, right? It's, how is it? Like $5,000 flight Tokyo? Oh, Tokyo is the most expensive place to go. Yeah, buddy. Why? I mean, then don't go to Tokyo. Go someplace else. Oh, well, no. You said we have the money. <laughs> Detroit. I mean, yeah, we, have Detroit. Money to, we have enough money to travel like <laughs> cool places. I mean, think about it. No, no, I don't. Not, not the not way right you now. should be traveling, which is like get it all, all the good restaurants, order all the food. Or another good way to travel is to stay in hostels. No, never. No, it lets you experience the city more. No, it, dude, it lets doesn't. you meet people. Yeah, because uh, yeah. you're, you're outside most of the time. You're never like chilling in your hotel room. <laughs> or it lets you get kidnapped by rich billionaires and cut you up into pieces. That's an experience. Oh, he's right. That is an experience. It's that research, is an experience. Research purposes. No, but I mean, you just simply go to where uh, the your money has more value. Done. And there's a lot of places. So you miss something. But then you first have advantage. to have money. Well, right. You don't have to have a bunch of money, like I guess. Uh, it doesn't matter. What are we fuck talking? This isn't the travel channel. Moving on. Uh, well, mm-hmm. let's I guess wrap up with uh, the just going yeah. through the notebook. All right, the finale. No, no. <clears throat> Chapter four. I don't know what's in here. Again, um, today is the last day. Uh, Jesus, today today is the last. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Do you want me to read it? Day four. No, no, no. Today is the last day. We wake up, got in the car. We woke up, got in the car, and drove to Yosemite again uh, for some alone time to meditate. Basically, our plan was to separate in a forest and spend about two hours with ourselves to meditate, journal, etc. I'm. <laughs> I remember Alejandro was. Yeah, was fucking. What around. was he doing? He was being so annoying during that time. <laughs> Yeah, he. I think he kept throwing sticks and shit like that to pretend that there oh was like a bear God, or something. Yeah. 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 I remember you got me one time. Dude, and you guys were all oh, yeah, bro. I guess By the way, time. I remember how quiet the forest was. Like, I've never heard such silence in my life. Yeah. There was not a sound. Which, by the way, in retrospect, probably not the best idea that we all separated randomly without well, telling yeah, each other no or sharing phones. locations. We separated or with no fucking phone. We were literally just walking around like anything could have happened. There could have been a bear. We didn't even have like a bear spray or. No, we didn't have anything. No protection, nothing. There's a bear right here. It's freaking a bear. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Um, I'm sitting on this fallen tree writing this right now. It's actually very comfortable. I can't even lay back. The air is so fresh here. The sound is non-existent, except for a few sticks cracking here and there. I just got uh, I just got off the phone with a loan broker. What the fuck? I thought you no phones. Yeah, I thought we had no phones either. Anyways, because remember, I'm broke. I uh, I signed the agreement for a fourteen thousand dollar line of credit off of my phone in a fucking forest. LOL. I'm gonna get through this. I'm gonna be making bank when I get back to LA. No more nice Isaiah. I'm the leader now. Oh, no more Mr. Shit, nice Guy. Dude, he's him. Uh, he said, I'm the leader now. But dot, dot, dot. I still need to find my urgency, my purpose, my fire circled. Uh, who or what the fuck put oh. out my fire? How can I start it again? I'll continue this on the next page. Jesus, then, dude. Dude, kinda, you did kinda, not kinda, write. Then, I'll continue this no, the next no, page. No, no, no. I you did. did not write that. I don't know why I wrote that. Um, I guess suspense. But, okay, that's pretty much the end of it. Now I'm explaining my whole high school story and blah, blah, blah. And it goes on and on and on. All but right. That was our cabin cleanse So how, how do you feel about that? Because it says that you want to start the fire back up again. And yeah. I do, I can relate with you on that. When I was younger, back in my days, 21, dude, I had so much fire. Now the fire is gone. And I'm practically dead. So now I'm just chilling, dude. The fire is gone. Can it be revived? I think it can. I think it can. How so? With the advice from Think and Grow Rich. Uh, Specifically what chapter? Find your muse. I think that's my key, dude. I need to find attractive women to reignite that in me. I knew it was going this way. No, no, no. That's why it says Think and Grow Rich. Yeah. And we all work differently. And I think, dude, I think when I'm no, chilling. No, no, I mean, yeah. And I see a fine-ass girl, dude, I get motivated to make money, yep. get cash, and trouble the world. 
the most Columbia. The, the, the most successful men are married and have kids. Diverge. The spectators, dude. If they're married, you don't look into their past. They're smart people. Think about it. What do you mean? Allegations out the window. You're married. Uh, you can no. still get allegations. Yeah, you can what still are you get allegations. About? The allegations hit harder. Hey, just married. don't do anything shitting. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. try that. Start try there. not breaking the law if you can. And not being a piece of shit. And you'll be good. Do you think you can make it through your life without that? Without what? Allegations? <laughs> I think it's very realistic, especially if you're making a lot of money. I think it's just hard. I mean, the people will always switch up on you when there's a lot of money. And even if they don't want to, their family members, friends will influence now them. Now, what kind of allegations are we talking about here? So, I mean, the classics. It was sexual. You get sexual <laughs> allegations. Those, those are the classics. I mean, dude, if you're fucking and you're a billionaire, you're going to get now, allegations. Now, what does that have to do with... Uh, you said it's hard to make it through life without getting those because uh, you can't trust people? So, dude, if you're fucking and you're a billionaire, you're going to get sexual allegations. No matter what you do. Because people mean, want that, money. That is true to an extent. Because yeah. people want money. So no yeah. matter even if you went on okay. a date. Okay. I don't know why I didn't catch that. Yet. It's over. Even if you go on a date. So that's why you got to vet them. You got to have some blackmail on them. Hey, if you say this about me, your mom dies. Damn. And then that's that it. That's so dark. Yeah. You kill their parents. Yeah. And sexual allegations go out the window. That is very effective. Do you agree? Isaiah concurs. I mean, but don't you think this? that would make them want to do it even, put out the allegations even more? Well, then you more? kill them and then the allegations end. Dude, that, that's <laughs> why you don't fuck with billionaires, dude. That's why you don't fuck with billionaires. Tell the billionaire story, I mean, remember? you know it only costs like $10,000 to put a hit on someone. Now, how do you know this? <laughs> uh, somebody told me. Hmm. Somebody Go told with this me. somebody. I don't remember. That's good. Keep their identity hidden. <laughs> do you remember that billionaire story? Yeah. Just real quick. Uh, I know it's... Do you want me to wrap it up with this story or do you guys want to touch on anything else? Do you want to touch on anything else? Oh, I want to touch on something else. Uh, uh, well, uh, I'll, I'll kind of wrap it up halfway a little bit. Um, Yeah, guys. So, I mean, we're going to take this serious, not miss a week. I'm going to make sure that even if I have to catch these guys with their pants down, we're going to shoot at least one podcast a week. I'm going to make sure we shoot two. That way, if we miss one, there's a backup podcast right there. But the goal is to, for me, at least my baby steps in being successful. The least I could do is talk for an hour with these guys. Even if I don't post poker videos, even if I fail a lot of things in my life, I want to make sure I do this one thing constant. Because it's the least resistance, easiest for me to do. And oh, that will build momentum. Yeah. And also another thing that, uh, just because I don't want this stock to escape. You cut me off. No, announcing your goals to other people is Most extremely important. Speech. So I'm glad you're saying this in public. And the thing is, because uh, he was saying, like, not having goals. But I think um, basically this. Anyways, go ahead. I just feel really strongly about this, and I wanted to, like, make sure that we all touch on this. All right, so let's it. put a pin on your strong thought right there. So it's pinned. Oh. Uh, yeah. So like I said, I mean, I realized I used to say I want a million subscribers. Ten million dollars, uh, harem of Japanese women around me, but that's not gonna happen, right? Because the Japanese part is easy. But uh, I'm gonna take it easy and slow like the fucking turtle. We all gotta be fucking turtles, okay? No more hairs, no rabbit bullshit. We're turtles, one step at a time. So one podcast a week, very doable. One camera angle, nothing crazy. Yeah. Simple edit. And then I'll build momentum. 10,000 subscribers at the end of the year in my poker channel. Very doable. One year for 10,000 subscribers. And, uh, you know, clear off my debt. Very low debt. Very doable. I said, just take it easy. Next year, I'll find some other goals. But that's it for this year, dude. Just taking it easy. That's good. All right. So that's me wrapping it up. That's it. Let's wrap well, it up here. Wrap that it is up? great. Yeah, um, I think we should just end on that note. Yeah, every week. Every week for a year. Pull out podcast. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, we're back to all your friends, family members, everyone. Uh, yeah, I'm going to start posting clips again. I'm going to hire the editor back up again. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, all right. See you guys next week. Next week. Are you like a headache?
Thank you.